there was a front office that at one point he allowed me to set it up like I was the secretary um, to believe that it was my own. And he would give me jobs as far as like the bulletin. Um, back then you had to, <laughs> you know, crank it through, you know, the paper and it, the ink went on it and I would do the bulletin um, after it was all set and run that. You know, I did do jobs um, and I always did them well. So, and then he would, you know, be able to, he would pay me some money. I remember his bill fold, he'd always open it and take money out of it. I remember too, with Sunday collection, he'd take money out of the collection and put it in his bill fold too. <laughs> I was like, okay, is that right? I guess he's a priest, he can do anything he wants, you know? <laughs> so, um, it, it started off that way. And um, then we just would hang out at the rectory and watch TV, you know, he had, he had a, back room office like with a couch and chair and you know just even lay on the floor and watch TV and have a meal you know have he'd always make sure because we he would take us on Sunday to do the deposit and then we go get something to eat and occasionally he'd let us go grocery shopping with him and he'd let us pick out anything we want and my big thing was pudding pops you know so they were in his freezer that any time you know we were there we could have anything we wanted and that, I mean, that was pretty much the start of all of it, you know, doing those kind of things, so. I remember things that it was just immediately cut off. Like I have a memory, but it was cut off and it wasn't finished. And the biggest thing for me was the day that I was unpacking boxes. And I remember he was in his bedroom and he came out based, almost naked. You know, it wasn't tidy whities but everything, I could, I could remember everything of what it looked like there. And it, it really scared me. And he was coming towards me, but I was still in the bedroom. So I just shut the door. I, you know, I don't know if I pretended, didn't see him, whatever. I mean, I, I remember specifically being very like shocked and like scared at that moment. And I shut the door and I uh, remember just like being in there, but I don't remember what happened after that, if anything did. I don't, I don't remember vivid memories of any of that. I remember a lot of the grooming now that I look back on it and how he groomed us. Um, so I guess, you know, part of me is nervous and anxious about that in a way, but I just have to, for me, I'm, I just, have to let it go and and let God you know take its course with it for me